Hey, everybody. Um, I got a new a camera. You know, it's that. And it's it's not good. But it, it's better than what I had. What I was using was the built-in camera of my laptop. And I'm still using the built-in mic. Maybe someday I'll get like a little, you know, collar label mic. In the meantime, I got that equivalent of a, of a camera. It's, just, it's a clip-on. And in the way that like a clip-on tie would make you just the tiniest bit more professional, I hope this enhances the, the, the improved resolution, enhances my appearance of professionalism, the tiniest possible uh, amount. Okay, I'm gonna read number eight today. It is also on world building, which has been my streak lately, what I've been talking about. Number eight, Saturday, October 23, 2021, world building nomenclature. <clears throat> Hi everyone. In my last journal, I promised to talk more about denim and about fashion. Before I forget what I was going to say, this. It's not just the fabric that matters, nor its holes. I mean, those are important. They add evidence of prior trauma. The gouges rent into that cloth function as a promise of additional trauma to come. That definitely makes it exciting. But excitement isn't enough. For ruined pants to augment pride, they need a pretentious brand name. One that commands respect, clenching the P and emphasizing the second syllable, respect for that tattered presentation. The right name printed on a waistline tag can anoint any look with dignity. Fashion is more about the names than the costumes, or so I perceive it to be. Okay, back to me and my map and my map's land masses. These are shaped the way they are for a reason which I'm sure I'll explain later, but even if they were just blobbed at random into the sea, that wouldn't bother me as a reader. I'm not a geologist. If I'm reading epic fantasy and there's a slight imperfection in the tectonic plates or ocean currents or whatever, I couldn't be bothered to notice. And if someone noticed for me and explained its inaccuracy, I couldn't be bothered to care the precise shapes of rocks and dirt don't influence how much I connect with the world. But if the names of those landmarks are bad, I can't keep reading. And a name, a naming is a fragile craft. Most people squeeze a little too tightly, in my opinion, which may well be wrong, but it's all I have to offer. So I'll continue. The word itself, world building, seems unnecessarily compounded. And it gives us a glimpse at where I think people go wrong, where I think they get carried away. The compounding of two cruel sounding words is a kenning. Death sun, blight mare, storm world. When you look at many fantasy maps, that's all you see. The word word mountain, the word word valley, the word word castle. It feels repetitive without any words actually repeating. Every good map does have a few power pairings, but kenning husbandry is a delicate art. It needs to be subtle, al dente. If you overcook it, even for a minute, you get a soggy map. That's why, in my estimation, few authors have built worlds that genuinely entice me out of my own. Earth is about as good as it gets. I can get on a plane and go anywhere. But wouldn't it be nice to vacation, as a verb, which I've always hated, in some Pangeal destination for a while? Go on some hikes, try the local food, get dysentery because no one told you not to drink the water in Baguzu. I would enjoy that, and I hope you're willing to come with me. I'll end with that sappy invitation to read my stories, joy and such. Um, okay, so that's it for number eight. Other than I just to acknowledge that, and I've said this before, I, I think I said something to the effect of, I would want to read a fantasy story about a pub, right? Or mead hall or, or, or whatever, written by a bartender who, who's done it for 20 years in Boston. And this is his first fantasy book. I would read that because there's insight into it. And so I made some statements about geology and I definitely would want to read a fantasy story by a I know one geologist and he's awesome. Uh, we teach at the same school. And whenever we're together, I just ask, I constantly ask him questions about like rocks, 
and earth science. And I'm just, I'm dazzled by the information, uh, but I'm not a geologist. And so that stuff is a little bit weak in my story um, because I just, I, I didn't go into that field because I wasn't passionate about it, but listening to a passionate person um, impart that passion is interesting. That at least I'm interested in it. Okay, I'm gonna end there and I hope joy and such at you in the direction of you and you can receive it if you so choose. Bye everyone.